So you're probably wondering what this pile of junk is in front of you right now. You know, broken antenna, piece of a denatured alcohol can, coil of wire, 3D printed parts. Well, this is going to be a three-turn helical antenna. And this is the printout of the reflector that's going to go into the backing plate here. So what I will do is I will cut out a piece of this can, glue it inside here, cut off this antenna, solder it on, put these 3D pennant parts on, and fit the coil in, and it will be a three-turn helical, which is awesome. So I ran into this guy out flying today, young man named Cooper, and uh, he was having some problems with a little bit of a long-range reception on his video. So after looking at, looking at his setup, I let him use my three-turn, and he said it was an improvement for him. So I gave him my antenna. So I had these parts already printed up. So happy birthday to Cooper. Hope the three-turn antenna is working great for you. So let me get started on putting together my new three-turn. Okay, so here's the setup. And the first thing that we're going to do is we'll cut out the reflector. So here's a can that I cut out. And I do not recommend that anybody try to cut a can up because the edges are razor sharp and you could very easily slice yourself open and uh, it'll be really bad. So be forewarned, only do this if you know what you're doing and even then you could cut yourself. So enough of the warnings, I'm going to use an old can, I'm going to recycle a can. So what I'll do is first thing is I need a template. So I printed out this um, X reflector. You can turn around if you'd like. Okay, I'll walk you through this project a little bit. So, first things first, um, you know, after cutting out the reflector, go ahead and file down the edges, get them nice and smooth, and see if it'll fit inside the um, backing plate. But first, we want to get a hole in the center for a coax cable. But the coax that I'm using is actually a little bit larger than the standard size hole, so I'll have to re-drill that later. So, here I am pulling off the, the backing paper for the reflector and then I'll use the back of my screwdriver just to go over the surface of it and try to get it as smooth as possible. Um, we're not going for perfection here but you know at least it'll look really nice because I don't think it'll really have that big of an effect on the performance but as you can see the holes don't exactly line up but that's all right so let's just go ahead and glue the reflector into place and uh, chop off the top of the old antenna because we're just going to um, use the coax cable on there. It's really good, nice stiff coax. Just cut off some of the the plastic um, shielding there just to expose the um, shielding cable and the inner core. We're going to use that to solder onto the reflector and the inner helical coil. So here's where I'm going to expand the hole so it fits the coax. So I'm um, doing a dry fit here, just removing enough of the plastic sheath just so I can get the um, coax cable through the back of the antenna to be flush with the backing plate. So now I'll just go ahead and glue that little um, support piece on. Do a dry fit before just gluing together the antenna frame. So I'll have the antenna frame put together and pull it off and then thread the, um, the wire through it. So the wire was actually preformed. There's a form that you get with the kit. So here I am um, soldering the 
shielding for the coax onto the reflector plate and um, you know just take your time doing this and um, that'll be connected then you'll be left with just the inner core of the wire pointing up so here is the example of threading the helical coil through the antenna frame putting it all the way up and then trimming off the the bit hanging off at the bottom that's where we're going to actually solder right onto that inner core wire. So I'll just do some checks with the um, ohm meter and make sure that there's no shorts and go ahead and uh, solder up that that inner core. So there we have it, a three-turn helical coil antenna. Great, thanks a lot for watching and have a super day.